So I do LGBT comics. I myself am LGBT. I'm bisexual or pansexual. If you've never heard of the term, pansexual means I like both men and women and non-binary people. But I find indie comics and web comics are like a great space to be as an LGBT creator. And it's a, it's a great place to find LGBT comics. There's such a variety of comics and they're also personal to people's stories. So there's a ton of like LGBT creators who are talking about their experiences and like showcasing like wonderfulness in the community. It's just good. So as I went into high school, I started looking into more comics that like resonated with my experience in the gay community. Because when I started like discovering I was gay and like looking into, you know, LGBT stuff and like um, gender stuff and sexuality stuff, like I started looking for more comics that like spoke to my experience and like resonated with me more. So what I look for these days, I'm usually looking for a good mix of like stories that have LGBT characters where they're either handling being gay or being trans or whatever, talking about like that experience and like handling it in a really like personal way. I don't know. I like those stories where it's it's learning about people's experiences and like I find that really really resonates with me. And the other stories I look for tend to be like uh, genre fiction, so like fantasy, sci-fi, whatever that have LGBT characters, but like the focus isn't on them being gay or the focus is on just like, you know, telling a fantasy story. Um, and them being gay is kind of inconsequential, but it's a nice like, it's a nice element of the story. That's like, that's what I love. That's what I live for. So for example, like a fantasy adventure where the main characters just happen to be lesbians. Like, that's my jam. <laughs> I love seeing more and more of those stories because it really normalizes like being gay um, and being part of the LGBT spectrum. So what I try to do with, like, my stories, like, whether it's my own writing or, um, in our comics, uh, that I do with Bones, like, I always like to make a point of including gay characters. Even if I'm writing a story where the main character isn't, uh, gay, I tend to put gay and trans characters in supporting roles as well. So Bones has done this with like all our comics. We're both LGBT, so it just makes sense. So if you read Magpie, you know that Trixie and Amanda are lesbians. Like the story revolves around Amanda and Trixie's relationship and the Magpie, who uh, is in love with Amanda. If you've read Pretty Mouth, that was about Rizzo and Evan and their relationship. Like Rizzo is bi, Evan's gay. Like, a whole bunch of other characters in it are also LGBT. And then in Sovereign, our LGBT stuff was a lot more low-key. Mostly because, like, we weren't focusing on uh, that stuff in the story. And we didn't really know that we wanted to do LGBT comics when we started it. Uh, though that's really what we've been gravitating towards since. So, like, this isn't talked about in Sovereign, but Zoltar is asexual and Elias is gay. And there's some other couples that pop up. Uh, in the story. So yeah, the story didn't have, like, it didn't center around the relationships that way, but, like, it was there. <laughs> and then in Nine Point, we're continuing to have plans to put more gay characters into it. So I'm excited! <laughs> but like I said, I, 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 yeah, I like to include LGBT characters into all my stuff. It's really important to me. I like seeing it in other people's fiction. I want it to be in mine. I remember, like, every once in a while I do worry that I'm like, should I write this story where, like, all the main characters are gay or trans or, like, somewhere in there? Is it unrealistic? Because I've heard that argument all over the place where they're like, it's unrealistic to have the entire cast be lesbians. Like, um, I remember at TCAF last year talking with some of the, my creator friends where they got comments saying like, oh, why are all your characters lesbians in this comic? And they were like, because that's the story I want to tell. You know, as a lesbian, they want to see more stories with more lesbians. It's annoying to have like one character who's a lesbian who shows up as like a cameo or something, you know? So I think that's, that's how I look at it. It's like, yeah, being gay is rare in like the grand scheme of society, but think of all the, like the stories where there's no gay characters, they're all straight, they're all cis, meaning they're not trans, and no one questions it. As soon as there's a story where they're all gay and trans, people like throw hissy fits. Not everyone just like people who are homophobic. <laughs> but yeah, I think being able to tell stories with large casts of gay characters 
I think it's just important for, like, our community to do that. Because it lets you show, like, all the different aspects of being gay within one story, and that's super important. I've been writing a fantasy novel on and off for a long time, and through writing it, I've been like, my whole cast is LGBT. Is it weird that both the prince and princess are gay? Is that normal? Is that possible? And then in the end, it's like, who cares? It's the story I want to tell. I'm going to tell it. <laughs> I just want everyone to be bi and smooch. Thank you. <laughs> I guess that's my bias. Eh? <laughs> e okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's my rant about, about all that. LGBT comics are my fave. It's a community where I feel very welcome and able to express myself, where I, I don't always feel that way in other parts of like my career. So yeah, if you're writing a comic, don't be afraid to represent your identity or your community in your comics. It'll mean a lot to the people reading it and other people in the community, young people especially. Like Bones and I, when we go to cons, we've started hanging pride flags at our booth. And I'm, I was amazed by how many people come up and be like, oh my gosh, you're LGBT, me too. And like oh, so many like young people too, like teenagers. And it's great. It makes me so happy to just see people come up and like identify with me and and feel welcomed. So that's what you're doing when you when you represent LGBT people in your work. If that's the story you want to tell. Don't be afraid. Keep it gay. <laughs> That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions or if you'd like to submit a video topic request, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!